Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. If you want to see extra content, join our Patreon page. Yo, yo, people, get to in here for another video. So, guys, we are here in Farming Simulator 19, and before we get started, I want to ask you guys a question. Now, the question, um, it, this is either going to go down really good with you guys, or this is going to get some hate on the video, or both. I, d I don't know. But the question, guys, um, it's just, it's just a question, and it is, if you're subscribed to PewDiePie. I'm not saying you should subscribe, I'm not saying you shouldn't subscribe. I probably should be saying either you should or shouldn't subscribe. I don't know which one I'm supposed to be saying. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know. But are you guys currently subscribed to PewDiePie? Now, you guys are often wondering if I am. And I actually am subscribed to PewDiePie. I was subscribed to him before all this happened. Um, but I only actually recently really started watching his videos. I watched his videos a very, very long time ago. Uh, then I stopped for a few years. And then just recently, I, I don't watch all his videos, but I watch an occasional one. Um, but yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's the situation with me. By the way, guys, you guys know how PewDiePie has merchandise? Just gonna throw this out there. My merchandise is made by the same company, so expect the same kind of, uh, high-end quality, right? I actually try having, there's two, so, okay, with the merchandise and that website, there's two options. You have, <clears throat> your, your, like, cheaper clothing and then the more expensive one, right? So, I always, for pretty much everything, I, besides for the, um, the cheapest merchandise that I have on our site, uh, it's always the most, the highest quality merchandise that I can offer to you guys. Although the price is actually, like, for some of the stuff's around, like, half the price of PewDiePie's. It's still, um, yeah, like, it's, it's higher quality than some of it, too. I'm not trying to bash on his merchandise. I'm just saying, if you trust him with his merchandise, then, yeah, yeah, it's, it's literally the same company. You can check. It's represent.com. Um, but yeah, so... Let's go ahead, you guys. Let's hop in here. So, if you remember, we have that vehicle from last time, that Impala or whatever that sports car is. Um, we need to bring it back. It's all fixed now. We have to bring it back to where we initially uh, picked it up from. Now, here's the thing. It's it's too hard of a drive to do. Um, it was risky doing on the way here. We really shouldn't have done it. So, that was a different video if you guys didn't watch that. Um, but we're going to actually ship it back and have it flown out there um or take a boat or something because it, it's, it's actually not going to the same location but it's going near you know there's water right there so i think it might be a boat that's going out i'm not sure but we need to bring it over to the dock either way um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna be actually putting it inside of this garrett plays crate which is pretty cool and there is a shop guys i want to be showing off this video that's new and it was a lot different when it first got released so it's released by expendables modding you'll see it shortly um I'll, I'll talk about more once we're beside it, but it was released by Expendables Modding, uh, and I did a lot of edits to it. So one of the things I did, I did take off, I think, all their logos. It just happened to be like that, just because I liked it, I thought it looked cleaner like that. Um, but yeah, no, it was Expendables Modding, full credits go to them. I, yes, did I make edits for it? Uh, no, let's go like that. Um, this vehicle's so loud. Why is this vehicle so loud? Uh, 50? I don't know. Ho hopefully that volume is good. Um, but yeah, so we're just having to bring this crate over. You guys all told me to use this trailer. Um, so we're going to use it. Actually, here, let me sh actually show you guys the trailer first. Uh, can we get out? Thank you. This trailer is the one uh, that has that cool mechanism where it can actually slide and stuff. Now, we don't really have a use for it right now because sadly with the uh, straps, you cannot lock in these crates. Um, but the trailer is around big enough we probably will be hanging off the back a little um which is okay like it's it's all good okay here we go we're gonna want to pick this up and thank you guys too you guys told me a lot of information about these um crates that i didn't know or that i knew and i just didn't really realize how important some of the information is like how far out this arm really should be when something is inside the crate um okay are we stuck what is happening here? Oh, it's because we're on that ledge. Come on. Do we have enough speed? No. Seriously? Why don't we have enough speed? Um, okay, let's try getting a bit more speed then. Okay, we're fully on the grass. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Come on. Okay, front wheels are over. Back wheels are over. There we go. Okay. So we should be able to connect this up. It says we can already connect it, but I wanna wanna make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, okay, there we go. 
Okay, perfect. That's looking good. Okay, so we're gonna attach and lift this up. It should currently be empty if we did this all correctly. There we go. So we have this UPS container actually in the way. Um, yeah, I, I was doing some testing before recording this video, so that is that is why it's like that. Um, okay, can we go over this UPS container and drop this down? It is an empty crate, which is for our benefit. Um, like right now. Okay, I, I actually haven't even tested, guys, like if it's gonna really hold this thing that well. So we will we'll see here together. Did lots of testing, but I did not test this. I think it would. Oh, it actually it fits on pretty good. It's it's slightly off the back, but it's pretty good for the most part. Um. Okay. There we go. Okay. Come on. We want to make sure it's on as good as we can get it. I think if we pull it in a bit, push it. There we go. Think that's good. Okay. There we go. So now, guys, it's gonna we're gonna turn this off and bring this in. Somehow we can move that with it still off. Uh, but let's see, guys, if this thing. What just what? Okay, okay, that worked. Um, let's see if this thing's gonna gonna be able to hold the weight. We will try locking it down, even though, yeah, those straps don't actually do anything on this. But that's okay. There we go. Yeah, this this fits on the trailer pretty good. And I think we're using a Peterbilt. Yes. Okay, there we go. I'm excited for you guys to see the new shop. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I so what I did guys is I I removed a lot of like the stuff that was inside the shop and a lot of the decals too. Um I want to add some stuff back. I'm thinking, but I like it really empty cuz I have some plans of we can actually load it up with our own stuff and that's what I'm trying to do. There's lots of like things that were just spawned into it, right? Uh, that we can't interact with so I removed the majority of those and just kept like the shelving but nothing on the shelves right and that will give us ability to here's the interior by the way guys we're gonna have to stay in this view though I think there we go okay we need to be careful in these turns because that's where this thing can slide and with the vehicle in it it's gonna want to slide even more there we go okay we probably actually could have just drove over with this but I think just for to, like to be legal we probably shouldn't <laughs> so that's why I didn't do that here we go guys okay so yeah here's the truck shop guys here is the truck shop I'll show it off in a second actually you might I might even save that more for next video like it's a nice truck shop it's a really nice truck shop like look look at that sign look at that sign um my logo is there and stuff and you guys kind of see his peak of the interior okay we have to go get this vehicle to unload this thing now so let's just run over um, yeah, again, we could have probably carried it over ourselves, like the crate, but I just, it, it wouldn't be realistic. Like, you know, if you got caught doing that, how much money you would have to pay? Like, if you didn't inform the police ahead of time and get, like, permission to do it by, like, the city? Like, that would, that would not, that would not go down too good. We will turn on all of our lights, though, our beacon and everything. This, this thing maxed out at 15 miles an hour. Like, we cannot drive anywhere with it fully. Like, we like, the furthest distance we can drive is this short one here. Because if we tried bringing this all the way to the dock, it would take a long time. There is already one over there. I actually, off camera, drove one over. Took a very long time. But we got we got it done. We got it done, guys. Got to put in the work. Okay. Also, guys, I didn't really show off. You can slide in this interior. If you see like I'm sliding, that kind of makes me sick. Uh, there, you see how it's sliding? So that, that does, in fact, work. Okay, but here we are. So let's just make sure that we weren't robbed or anything. I'm just going to open this up and make sure that our trucks are still in here. Yeah, guys, I actually did a lot of work to that truck shop, so we probably will show it off more in next video, I'm thinking. Just because, like, I even, like, messed with, like, the triggers and stuff, which is something I had to learn how to do. I still need to fix this here, but yeah, okay, either way, yeah, the vehicle is here, it's all fixed up, it's all good, um, yeah, we, I guess, technically we could drive it down, but we don't want to damage it, so let's start it up, because obviously we have our keys, we're just going to take it off this lift for now, there we go, and I think we'll keep it under the cover, just, just for now, we don't want to get dirty, and we also want to make sure that we don't, if I'm mistaken, drop, like, the crate on it or something, 
Um, but yeah, okay. Let's go ahead, guys. We'll extend this out. There we go. Okay, you're going to want to turn this. I'm getting a little bit better with the controls for this, but I still could be better. Oh, see, like, we didn't align correctly there. Uh, come on. Turn that. Okay. Let's try this again. This thing doesn't do too good when turning at a low speed. Like, it... I don't know. I don't know. It, it could use a little bit of work in that end, but... For the most part, it drives pretty good. Okay. We're going to want to shift this over just a little. Drop it down. Uh, tilt. There we go. Let's see how that is. Okay, we definitely need to be pushed out a little bit more. Uh, okay, there we go. And we sh that should be good. Or good enough. There we go. Okay. We're going to want to turn this thing around. So it does open up. Opens up on that side where the door is you guys we don't have our arm extended out that much don't worry and yes it would be extremely hard to see right now I do realize that I guess we probably should raise it up a little okay here we go and we're gonna want to open up those doors there we go you have to have it on these forks in order for that to work okay let's see how it connects with the ground will our vehicle be able to drive up in that uh I don't think so. Maybe if we keep it pressed down. Here, let's see. If we keep it pressed down like that, will this actually, will this work the way we want it to? Let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can get this to go in. You might have to close your eyes, guys, because this might be a little bit rough. I know it fits. I know that. There we go. It just sometimes, it, it's, a, it's a tight fit. Realistically, I don't know how you would actually get this in here. If I'm being honest, I don't know how, like, how would I get out of this vehicle now? That would be, that would be a little challenging. Uh, we're going to want to drive it to be centered in here. So I think that's probably around centered enough. Obviously, the weight on it's not exactly even. There we go. Okay. So we're going to want to attach again, close that up before we start lifting and there we go okay yeah so we can still lift it with no issues but we got we got the vehicle in there guys we did get the vehicle in there so now we got to be a little bit more careful oh come on come on okay let's not really go under there i don't want to damage the ground there's a lot of weight on this thing here we go okay we want to first make sure that this angle is like that. There we go. Okay. See if we can get this on as nicely as before. I don't know. I honestly don't know if we will be able to. Okay, let's shift it this way. There we go. Okay, we're going to want to start lowering it down. Okay. There we go. Um, okay, we've got to shift it this way. And we're also going to want to turn it a bit. Like that. Okay, move out the arm. Start lowering it down. Pull in the arm now. And I think... That is as good as we're going to get it. Let's make sure it's down. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, so we don't have much, like, much uh, lee room. Oh, we didn't really put it right on the edge, though. Um, okay, you know what? We're going to have to live with that. It could have gone a little bit further. I didn't actually realize that, but that's okay. It's all good. So we're going to park this. Now that it's empty, I guess we can just park it inside. Or, no, I don't want to damage our ground in there. Let's just back it up. Put it aside. You guys can kind of see a bit more of a sneak peek of the shop. There we go. Okay. Um... <coughs> Let's do this. By the way, guys, I keep recording these videos in the morning recently. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try recording another video today after this one. So then I won't have to be recording in the mornings. Because recording in the mornings is not always the best. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. We turn that on. There we go. We're going to want to close these doors down. Don't let it hit me. Thank you. Which door? Do they close the same speed? It always feels like that door closes faster, but... Doing them back to back, it seemed like they were pretty equal. Okay, let's turn this. 
Again, we want to make sure, like, these trailers sometimes like to lift up and stuff, and we now have a vehicle in there that's going to be sliding around. Realistically, everything would be pretty firm. Like, it, everything in here is really heavy, right? This whole load is quite heavy, so it wouldn't really be, like, it wouldn't be shifting around. But sadly, in the game, they do shift around. We need that mod or the script to be made that allows you to lock, um, like, lock stuff down on trailers. It, like it, that just needs to become a thing um that's one mod i'm waiting for or one script that needs to be made so people can add it into the mods but not many people know how to make scripts i i, I have been seeing some scripts come out though there have been a few scripts i've seen come out which is really cool okay here we go i was gonna say, i hope you like all these like mods that i've been editing and working on like this right here, right? This is Garrett Plays. That shop, I you'll see it when it's fully decked out. And the other one, you guys know, I've changed the interior of. And I, I'm trying to do good. Oh, I think I changed the license plate on some trailer, too. I don't remember which one I did it on. Oh, did it already shift? Oh, no, it's just hanging off. Okay. I may have shifted back a little, but it looks pretty good. Okay. There we go. We're going to want to make sure we have our hazards on, though. And I don't think we have any beacons, but we'll turn click the button just in case yeah, it doesn't look like we have any beacons okay and yeah we're just gonna want to drive oh look at oh look the interior actually shows those lights that's pretty cool we're gonna want to drive at a pretty slow speed again realistically we could be driving a bit faster than 15 miles an hour um or like 20 miles an hour but it's simply that we th like these mods will slide around there's nothing locking us down it just opens sides um if you have ever played the game and done anything like this, you know stuff is so easy to slide off if it's not strapped down. And these straps don't work with these mods, so you can't strap it down. <laughs> there we go, guys. I'm really curious about that PewDiePie question I asked earlier, too. I'm, wa I'm wondering what your guys' what your guys' like uh, say is in that. Like, if you are subscribed, if you aren't. Uh, and then I'm guessing you guys will also tell me your opinion. I'm guessing I'll see some things about T series down below as well. I'm I'm assuming I'm assuming a lot of people will comment stuff like that. Um, I I feel like the spam comment section is gonna be marking lots of things. If you guys didn't know, if you guys like swear in a comment uh, or if th there's certain terms uh, if you guys say or uh, that it either has to get improved approved by a moderator or it has to. Or, or it just goes to spam, and if it goes to spam, only I can access it. And, yeah, I usually don't check the spam that often. Uh, I, I, There's no reason to, really. I can still read your guys' comments, even if I don't approve them. And if the vi I, when I, by the time I check the spam, it is usually, like, a month after the video is out, right? So, the, no one's really even going to see your comment. Um, so, yeah, but if you guys just leave regular comments, then there's no issue. Yeah, but here we are, guys. There is some shipping containers all around the place. I was doing lots of testing, as I said. So we might see some falling over trucks or some weird things. We'll have to see. Okay, this next right here is the one that always gets us. I'm trying to remember where we have our... Where we have our crane. Here we go. Come on. Okay. Um, I think there actually is already a vehicle. Like a... A sports car of some sort or like an old-fashioned like classic car I think there's already one beside the crane we'll have to see I think I know where the crane is okay I've actually never taken the main roads to get there I always just kind of cut through but since we have a load with us we should probably do this realistically yeah so you see how here the trailers kind of tilting a bit so if we went any faster there this thing would have just slid off it still has a potential slide off so got to be careful I think we're good. If we speed up too fast, if our brakes uh, activate too too fast, then all of that will make it slide as well. Okay, I see a fallen over truck and a crate over there. So I think we're getting close. Yeah, okay, I see the crane in the distance. Um. Okay, I think... Oh, no, that way's kind of blocked off by that vehicle. Are we going to have to turn again? Twice? We can't make these turns. No, okay. And there's something on the ground. Do you see that? Wait, we're currently going over top of, uh, okay, here, let's move that, actually. What are you? 
Ah, uh, keep grabbing the trailer. Okay. Let's see if we can get it from this side. What is this? Extension cord? No, I d okay. You know what? I don't want to mess up. Let's just leave it and drive extremely slow. We'll, we'll move that off the path once we get past. But I do not want to grab onto the truck. Okay, here, let's just straighten out. And then we'll go and get that. Okay, I, guys, I'm so happy we got to stay on. In all my tests, they, this thing just slid off. Like, we're going very slow, as you guys can tell. Okay, we're just going to put this here. There we go. And let's go in here. I guess we could put it in the crate. But, like, why would we do that? You, you get a vehicle and one extension cord. Like, that's so weird. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Watch this turn. If you guys didn't see the adventure to get this vehicle uh, for us to repair, go check that out. Um, yeah, it was very cool. It was very, very, very cool. Here we go. Okay. okay and again, guys, I want to say thank you for 13,000 subscribers. I, I know I said it last video, uh, but now we actually did hit it stuff so I, I I do wanna say thank you for that. I greatly do appreciate it. Um it's all it's all because you guys have been sharing the videos. So thank you for that. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to go off road in here. It's the way it is. Because yeah, let's just go off roading. Hopefully there's no big surprises that's gonna mess up this. Yeah, you see I just I love all the suspension in these mods now. It's something that having added now is like so handy. Sometimes you can really like tell like the suspension is so just so helpful. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, you guys see there's just all these crates over there. There's trailers. There is a vehicle over there already. It's not it's not the same color as the one we're taking though. Actually, is it even the same type of vehicle? It's probably near the same year, but I don't know if that even is the same vehicle. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Okay. We're going to want to just have this unloaded here. It just needs to go with these other containers. Come on. Okay. I don't want to mess this up, guys. It's still staying on pretty good. There we go. Okay. I think now we should be able to get off and... Okay, okay, okay. Take it easy. Uh, yeah, so that off. There we go. And let's unload it, and then we just, we're at the, we're at the home stretch now, guys. We are at the home stretch. Okay, it's right over there. Start backing up. There we go. Oh, come on. Yeah, this thing doesn't have the most, the most power. There we go. I wonder how much weights are in the back. Because so much weights being lifted, they probably have a, giant giant weight back there okay turn on our lights and stuff again too um okay that is gonna be blocking us hmm that is you see that thing in front of our tires that is in fact in the way okay we're gonna have to extend this arm out a bit i guess there we go let's open it up let's see let's see let's see how we can do guys there we go okay let's lower down. Yeah, it's saying we can already connect, but obviously that would not be too realistic. Uh, let's shift it this way. Down. Uh, oh, what is with this angle it's at? How do I fix that? Um, it's Are we at an angle? Is our vehicle at an angle? Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, I think, I think that's as good as we're going to get. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that works. Let's lift it up. Yeah, you see, we were definitely at an angle there. Did a pretty good job, though. Again, let's pull it in before we fall over. Again, it's, it's not that much weight in here. Well, like it is, but this vehicle is more than capable of handling that weight. I wonder how much weight you would need to actually like tip over this vehicle. Like I've seen no signs of this vehicle tipping over. I could see too much weight not allowing it to drive, but it has power in the front wheels. So it's these, like I don't know, the back wheels. It, it needs like 
dualies on the back or something like the front has dualies the back just needs something more again it, it probably like more weight in the back would be one of those things that would actually help but there's probably so much weight back there already okay there we go oh come on see right there wheels were like sideways we didn't have enough speed okay here we go we're gonna shift this over actually to it's as far as it's gonna shift okay fine by me here we go okay we should be no it's it's so we need we need to realign ourselves I want to get it kind of like angle the same way as the other ones are come on come on vehicle you got this you got this no okay we're just gonna there we go there we go that's that's the positioning I kind of wanted it in uh, let's make sure we pull this in there we go okay we're just gonna place this down right about here there we go perfect okay we did it guys we did it look at that okay let's fold this in there we go i hate this camera view there we go hey, guys do you want me using this camera view like i just something about it that i just prefer you going like this like there's way more control there we go okay there we go we can shift ourselves back i don't know why you would want to be shifted back i guess it will give you a bit more vision i guess i don't know i don't know either way that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching you guys are awesome bye bye want to keep up with the latest gear plays videos be sure to subscribe and click that bell if you want to see extra content join our patreon page